Hello, why should we feng shui our kids room or not? That's the real good question. So in a kid's room, we have different things moving around already. The energy is flowing at a different rate because the kid doesn't know what he wants at that moment, right? One moment he's maybe looking for a chocolate, the other time for a little pig like that, what we see here. So a constant movement, it's kind of difficult to feng shui a room from a kid because they're in constant movement. They're in constant changing of decisions until they understand or know what they actually want, which happens when they're in adulthood. So for now, if we see this type of rooms, like, like this with, let's say a little clutter or, or like this, right? We don't have to worry as long as it's organized, right? Because it may be that our love life is in this corner or our uh, family life is in this corner and it's almost always with clutter. So that impacts certain part of the energy. But if we see colors and uh, objects, they do matter. But as I said, like kids tend to not be centered in what they actually want from life. They don't understand what money is, what relationships are, what health is. They're just moving around. And uh, I mean, uh, as we were young, we also moved our rooms around because uh, one week we felt like it's better to have the bed in this other direction or this uh, uh, table in another direction. So that constant change, it uh, allows us not to be able to feng shui completely a room. But important is that it keeps everything clean and decluttered right? Like in this case scenario, for example, there's areas, certain areas that have clutter, right? Like bag of toys, bag of different things, and we have a space around. Of course, it's good to teach the kids to organize the room because uh, that allows also the energy to move. But as I said, because they're still growing and understanding what they want and they need, this is going to be a tricky thing. For example, this room can be good until a point where he decides to move or she decides to move or change the colors. So all of this will impact the energy of that area in your home. So if that area is the money area or the love area or the fame, it will be impacted. So there are certain things you can do, but the target is that that area of your home, even though it's for the kids, should be clutter free. And that's the only tip I can give you for, for kids' bedrooms because they're in constant movement. So until they are in a adult position to decide what they want, then you can feng shui their rooms based on the Bible map. But until then, you'll have to wait. Thank you.